Ramble. Thanks to Joybird Everlane Way, that thing I do, and the CDC for sponsoring today's episode. Hey everybody, welcome to Tripod. Very fun episode today. You got your boys, it's Zach, Keith, and Ned on the couch. And we're joined by special guests this week from the That's Why We Drink podcast. We got Em and Christine. Hello. Hello, how are you? Here is my hello from <laughs> Hello from far away, Kentucky. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, Christine is coming at us through a video monitor sitting on a velvet green chair. <laughs> You know what's so funny is the velvet green chair is actually Christine's total aesthetic. So really? You really yeah. nailed that. Yeah, if only you could sit on it in person. <laughs> I love the botanical influence behind you. Listen, uh-huh. thank you. Yeah. This is uh, my beautiful M gave this to me. It's my witch. Um, what is it, M? It's a warrant of arrest for being a witch. It's a, um, it's so a, had it it's framed. A oh, that's so cool. Wait, that's so cool. awesome. For a it's second, like from I, the 1800s or something? Yeah, <laughs> it's from Salem. It's apparently a wow. copy of the actual document that women got right before they were executed. Oh, Ooh. nice that they gave them that yeah yeah like a final ticket yeah. I guess. So, I, to make it official it, I, yeah i thought it was like a pirate diploma <laughs> because of the age everyone's paper. like what school did you go to i'm like that's not relevant that's not <laughs> <laughs> so you both obviously host a true crime paranormal podcast do you have like you know in the conjuring where they have sort of artifacts from spooky mm. things i f- we are collecting that, yeah. That <laughs> we does do. seem, we're like our own little Zach Bagan's haunted mansion. People um, mail us the weirdest stuff. I mean, sometimes it's yeah. horrible. <laughs> sometimes, like sometimes our fan mail is literal teeth. We've gotten quite a few <gasps> teeth. Whoa, um, God. My teeth are haunted. <laughs> we, we, I like to gotten, think those are more cursed than any actual haunted object. The teeth are just yeah. a no-go for me. We've gotten lots of teeth. We've gotten lots of locks of hair. <laughs> oh, we've geez. gotten... Wow. Uh, Dude, your fans are dope. People, people have sent us like... like a la horror movie, we've gotten wooden crates that we had to like pry open <laughs> to find like a bunch of straw and inside was this old <gasps> decrepit horse with a note that said like, we don't know what to do with it. Every time we keep it in our house, the barn catches on fire. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> You uh, need to not give your address out anymore. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Just leave it at the post office and they can wonder why it's on fire. You get a little, mm, yeah. I kind of like the idea of surprises like that. That's fun. <laughs> I mean, like, like, look how much joy you just brought us in that moment. We've been doing this I got for seven picture years. No teeth. Decrepit horse. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is that? Horse. Was it a real horse? Was it a statue? Was it a stuffed horse? The Well, it used to be more fun for me because our studio used to be in Christine's house when she lived in California. California. And so after we would open all this stuff, I'd be like, bye. And it was, she just had to live with it. Yeah. So, but, Christine, did you make a cabinet of curiosities oh, or a room dedicated to it that you like seal off? Absolutely. <laughs> it, it used to be a closet. And then um, over time, I lived there for three years. It just kind of became like most of the house was taken over by. Um, by objects, haunted, cursed objects. And my husband works in uh, at the ER, and so he would come home from work at like 2 a.m. Like, I got teeth un- too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a new array of body parts and fun things waiting. So, you know, it was always, wow. it was always exciting. Never a dull moment is what I like to say. Did your barn burn down? Um, you know what? Have a barn. Not that I know of. <laughs> But if you do ever do, that shit's going well, to the ground. You're, you're in First Kentucky step. now. You now I'm in Kentucky. You, That's a, the it's threat plausible. is real, more real well, here. Yeah. All the stuff is stuck with me now because she moved. So now I have to collect everything. So, so it's so just dope. kind of a, I mean, it's revenge in, in one way. But I want to hear so much more about all these objects. But we did kind of pass go. I think people can put it together. But if they don't know your show, what is it? Yeah, it's a true crime paranormal show. It's called And That's Why We Drink. Um, we started it in 2017. Um, Em used to be a paranormal investigator by trade, actually, and I uh, worked as a PI for a while. And so we kind of uh, clicked somehow and we spent all night talking about these (laughs) creepy things and um, decided to put a microphone between us. And after, you know, a little while, it kind of picked up and now we do it for a living. So. It's Wait, a good time. I didn't time. know you were by trade. I didn't know this backstory. This by trade, kinda, okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was my college job, actually. So Whoa. You didn't get a degree in it. Uh, if I could have. <laughs> okay. I would have. No. Uh, I'll make no, you I, one. I have a copy. I'll make you a copy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Make it out of straw from an old crate. Um, no, I I worked at uh, actually a Segway tour guide shop. It was. It became a ghost hunting gig. Um, <laughs> well, how does that? Get so it doesn't sound like it, but it's true. yeah. It doesn't sound like a real story. So I originally started as a boat builder, 
Um, because <laughs> yeah, how I long, love this. You guys, how yeah. long do we have? Because M could take probably four hours to describe I, this. This is fascinating. And no People part of this story. Like, oh, I worked at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a single part of the story where I could have guessed the next word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh yeah I so paranormal I, segue boat builder. <laughs> so I worked at I worked at a museum down by the beach where I went to college and they needed a, more a new boat exhibit and they're like oh we need new boats and I was like well I'm a psychology major I don't know how to build a boat. <laughs> Um, but they were teaching me how to do that and at one point I asked if the place was haunted and they said oh well uh, we are, we're not sure, but the people next door might because they do ghost tours. And so <laughs> my boss, after my shift, walked me over and introduced me. And I guess it looked like a reference. And so he <laughs> was like handing me over as to like a different company. And so they asked me to go on a ghost tour with them. Um, and they like paid me 20 bucks that night and said, come back tomorrow. <laughs> so I tr- it. But by day they do Segway tours and by night they do ghost tours. So on Segways. On segways. No, 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 no. I was like, that's dangerous. That would be funny. That would be very fun. Keith, that's such a stupid question. That would scare away the ghosts. They're no, terrified but, no, you would actually move like the ghosts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Well, yeah. You're, yeah. you're onto something there, though, because one of my first ghost experiences with that job was having to teach them internet. Which is wild. Because Wait, teach the ghosts? Teach the ghosts, the ghosts the internet. internet. No. Yeah. Because they, we realized that a they lot of our. on Ghostagram. <laughs> a lot of yeah. our equipment wasn't working and we didn't know why because every, well, maybe because there weren't any ghosts. But uh, a lot of times our, like our, it wouldn't, nothing would work specifically if our phones were out. And at one point we mentioned like, oh, maybe they're scared of ghosts. And all of the meters everywhere went off as if like (gasps) confirming that. So then we spent like a half an hour sitting down, teaching them phones. We let them play with a phone because we had like a flip phone. I'm sorry. The ghosts. What 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 is (laughs) teaching a ghost how to use a phone? I we had to explain that that we were texting other people. So, so we put a like, phone down. We put a phone down and we said, you know, the post office, it's like the post office, but this <laughs> device, instead of waiting weeks for an, a letter, you can get one right away from another person. And so we said, if you're nearby, you know, you know, huddle around and watch me type <laughs> oh my this. God. And then I pressed wow. send and then a message came back and then the meters went off. Like they were like amazed. And then, <laughs> Because I had a flip phone at the time, I left it in the corner and I was like, if you want to just go smack it as hard as you can, you'll press a button and then it'll light up. And wow. that, that started happening by itself. And Guys, this anyway. is why you can't take uh, anonymous <laughs> comments on your videos too seriously, because it could be ghosts. <laughs> That's and, true. You know what? Yeah, it's a troll. The trolls are all ghosts. Yeah, ghost trolls. I, mm. I would love to back up to one little detail. <laughs> that Which we'll get to you shortly. <laughs> no, no, it's I'm just having a great you time. Said, <laughs> I worked at a museum. <laughs> and we needed a boat exhibit. <laughs> so we were going to build boats. Yeah. Now, normally museums. <laughs> good point. Normally museums would like, source old things. This is our Viking warship. Them, not ask <laughs> ghost original. hunters to build a boat. That's fair enough. It was a nautical museum where they didn't have, I guess, <laughs> the actual boats no themselves boats. have been like destroyed. The nautical <laughs> museum had no boats. It was, you know, that's a fair point. Uh, <laughs> it, that really sounds like the story's completely fake. Just think. not snow boats. <laughs> they, they were just like, build the replica, and the, I just kind of ran with it. Uh, okay. So, so what so type fun. of replica did you build? I could not tell you today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was old. <laughs> Okay. And tell me about the equipment that you use to hunt ghosts. I mean, what, what sort of things are lighting up, and is it like you're sensing like like magnetic force variations or something like that? I mean, we've used this stuff before ourselves too. Um, we've tested out all the equipment. There's a EMF, which is electromagnetic frequencies, and it tests mm-hmm. electromagnetic frequencies. Um, there are the spirit boxes, which scan through radio frequencies. Is that right, Em? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Tell them about uh, the. <laughs> tell them about the bear. Oh, the <laughs> what's it called? The boo bear. bear. The boo bear. I don't know. A um, boo buddy. Boo buddy. It's horrible. It's the worst thing. Um, almost as bad as a haunted Victorian doll, but it's a teddy bear, and it lights up in different parts of its body and like talks if a quote unquote ghost like touches it, or it's meant to attract oh. like small children, like. You know, oh, the I worst of all oh, ghosts. Creepy. Oh, yeah, I yeah. hate that. Yeah, so if you touch certain parts of it, it has different sensors. So you'll know what part of the bear got touched. 
So if you're trying to say like, oh, touch the left side of the bear, it's just to help you confirm that it's actually intelligently responding to you. Um, but it, if you say like, oh, touch the bear's belly, it'll go like that tickles. It's really it's creepy. <laughs> Especially because it's always in the Whoa. dark. So we'll be in the dark sitting there and you'll just hear like, that tickles. It's just the worst. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so many questions. <laughs> uh, Christine, did you say that the children are the worst ghosts? Yes, because sometimes this is true and we'll confirm it. At least it's true in what I've learned from M. that sometimes um, to kind of disarm you, demonic pr- uh, entities will like pretend to be a ghost or, ma- or mask as a child ghost to try and I've like heard this yeah yeah to try and uh, you know make you vulnerable and like want to you know take care of them or whatever and so sometimes those yeah. little children ghosts are the, the creepiest ones of all oh. and Whoa. it's definitely happened to me too of, of <laughs> you've encountered a demon I'm pretty sure yeah of wow little children like you can hear them later on camera talking to you even though you couldn't hear them but it was clearly a child in the room and then over time the voice got more and more garbled and that was the worst. dark and mm-hmm. creepy yeah <laughs> okay so i oh. don't need to ask this i'm just gonna you guys both fully believe in ghosts and demons i, I would I say do. i'm the more skeptical <laughs> side <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I i'm not skeptical really like in the in the if you put me up next to the rest of the world like i'm definitely not very skeptical but i think next to m it's fair to say i'm a little more on the you know i don't know what to say rational side but like <laughs> yeah With how much time we are all spending at home, it is super important to make your home a place that brings as much joy as possible. I recently redid my home office and it makes a world of difference. And Joybird's selection of customizable furniture and modern home decor lets you bring your unique style into your space. They've got modern customizable furniture for every space available in a variety of vibrant, durable fabric options. Browse curated collections to find the perfect piece for your one-of-a-kind style. If you don't know where to start, Joybird's design specialists are standing by to make your vision a reality for free. Each piece is made with incredible care and love using responsibly sourced materials free of those harmful chemicals. And through partnerships with groups like One Tree Planted, Joybird is helping conserve and restore Earth's most precious natural resources. Joybird stands by its quality and craftsmanship. If it's not everything you hope for, send it back. Create a space that brings you joy with Joybird. Visit joybird.com slash tryguys and get 30% off your purchase. That's 30% off at joybird.com slash tryguys. If I'm going into a haunted house, I'm prepared every second there's going to be a ghost. So (laughs) if something happens and it's not a ghost, I'm just disappointed. So, uh, and Christine would usually be like, no, it's like, the door opening we just watched it happen so like i just opened it (laughs) is it spooky are you terrified because i feel like you uh, both (laughs) named you both named uh, 20 things that i would just be (laughs) done for i would scream forever Mm -hmm. i don't know we regularly talk about zach bagans on our show and how he comes off as pretty like pompous and ready to like kick every ghost that ghost adventure show i don't know if everybody i feel like that's well known in our audience sphere but i don't know if everybody i definitely don't know who you're talking about (laughs) okay i was was willing to nod he looks like he wants to join a biker gang or something and he's like Mm. ready to like attack ghosts if they he like tries to punch them he's very aggressive person (laughs) so he tries to punch uh, that's not even a joke i'm zach bagans i've never lost a fight with a ghost So I think a lot of people expect that, like, if you're going to go ghost hunting, you must be, like, prepared for anything. I'm just, like, ready to be scared at any moment. So <laughs> I'm the exact opposite of him. Yeah, I'm, like, ready for the ghost to punch we've me. We've gone, uh, like, to haunted places and M will be just bes- besides themselves. Like, it's, like, I'm the one who's a little bit more, like, and then we have a producer named Eva who's kind of in the middle and has to be, like, our little, like, um go-between of, like, M's basically crying in the corner, which... It doesn't totally make okay, sense, totally. right? Like I'm literally hosted right. these uh, ghost events and whatever, out. but um, yeah, I feel like <laughs> I play like devil's advocate, and I'm like, no, I just opened that door, M. It's not a ghost. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's we kind of play off each other, I guess, in that way. I don't know. Wow. It works. Uh, I really want to hear this demon child yeah. audio. That's yeah. all I want now. It's like, well, I'd like to hear the demon voice. I well, I do have it on on camera. I would be happy to uh, yes. send, it, send it to you. Me. I would so, love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to. That one actually was it. very frightening. It's, yeah. Just while we're here, put a quick pin. 
You were a private investigator, Christine? Oh, yeah. That's not as interesting. I know. But um, I worked at <laughs> I mean, Cinema. Are you kidding? <laughs> the what? movies have taught me that's the most exciting job. But I have heard in real life it's mostly like just taking photos of people cheating on each other. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. And it was more like corporate <laughs> espionage. So it was kind of. Oh, it, it was really interesting. I guess they probably were like. excited it's, now. It's, it's just like, <laughs> it's, that's kind of kind of neat. You're about to get hired, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can spy on my for us <laughs> yeah sneak into like other companies <laughs> well okay <laughs> it was honestly a dream job because growing up i was always like that you know internet like i you know learned like coding so that i could like a- stalk people's myspaces more effectively and stuff um <laughs> <laughs> and so i got to la and i was like desperate for a job uh, as we all know and so i got some temp some temp agency hired me and they were like oh you're going to this um, investigations company and I didn't even know what that meant and I showed up and they were like you're young so you're the social media person so they basically just put me on social media <laughs> and I stalked people on social media all day for a job and then they hired me on as like an actual investigator and um, a lot of it was Wait, so companies were you would- the fucking person that would like See, like, oh, we're gonna hire this person, but oh, they have this tweet from five uh-huh, years yeah. ago where they were partying. Mm-hmm. We can't fire them. <laughs> yeah, it was stuff wow. like that, but it was more like when people claimed workers' comp or said like, oh, I'm really sick, and then I would find photos of them at Disney. I mean, I felt kind of bad a lot of the time, cause it, but I was like, don't put <laughs> photos on Facebook of you at Disney World if you're like trying to get two weeks pay for being, you know. So Christina and I had just become friends in this at this time. And so she would text me at like, oh my gosh, you can't even imagine what I just found out about this random part. There was like <laughs> there was like a teacher who was like sending yeah. nudes oh through my God, like I the found work her email nudes or- on her <gasps> desktop, on her school desktop. The second grade teacher. And oh. she had all her nudes like in a folder yeah. on her desktop. And I was like, uh, um, it was, you so go, stuff girl. like that. <laughs> yeah. it, was, <laughs> it was rough. Um, you and know then what? I had, Teachers are underpaid, so you know what? I think I her claim support. was that she wanted to get compensated for I forget what it was, some sort of plastic surgery. Oh no, she was going on a on a, t- a reality show. I found the emails in her work computer that she wanted to go on a plastic surgery reality show. Um, and so mm. I found all her nudes on the computer that like correlated to that, and so. The company was like, "We're not paying for wow. you to go on a reality show," and it was a whole thing. Anyway, so it was a good time, but that must um, have been shocking. Yeah, that's when I was like, "Oh, we're gonna say friends because I need to know more about this." <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> really, really nail in the coffin for me. Uh, this is the first time we are all meeting, but actually, Em and I had a, a funny encounter. Do you guys remember that that thing that went viral with T Pain uh, a couple months ago, where he realized that there's an other tab in your oh, DM yeah. on oh, yeah. Instagram, yeah. 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 and so all I these celebrities to- were trying to contact contact him for years and he had no idea <laughs> I had, he didn't follow them on Instagram yeah, a similar experience where I went to my other tab and noticed all of these wonderful lovely messages from verified people that I totally missed and 364 days later I responded to him yeah I actually don't remember no ever uh, I don't remember writing you and I was <laughs> so embarrassed <laughs> I, was like, I was gonna say I was like, I'm oh. gonna call you later and be like what the hell did you write I I it was clearly like a, a, I must have been listening to or watching you on YouTube or something yeah. just being like, I'm just going to say hi just to see <laughs> where it takes us. And it took us no way. <laughs> <laughs> I led here. Well, I mean, it, you know, if I go by the time it was, you were probably where we were deep in the throes of the pandemic and just reaching out to the internet saying, I hey, think thanks so. for content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That, it said, I think my message was something like, Hey, I it like, very lovely. I, I like your stuff. Yeah. But then I, uh, yeah, you found it like exactly a year. It was one day <laughs> less than a year. Oh, yeah, and I was like, I sh- after I sent it, I'm like, why did I not wait one, one day? More day. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been way funnier. Anyway, hey, we clearly manifested something. Yeah. So <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> Yeah, M doesn't even drink, so. Oh yeah, uh, I'm so curious about the milkshake. The, oh yeah, so well, the title of your show is a lie. I know a lot of people are like, so you don't drink on, and that's why we drink. Yeah, yeah no, Christine drinks enough wine for both of us. Except now she's pregnant, so <laughs> like no one's drinking. It's wow. a complete, complete. So farce. we is more it's about depressing. society. Mm-hmm. Should, uh, put a little little wine glass out for the teddy bear and see. <laughs> Oh yeah, you should do bring booze with you with the ghost. Oh, I did, and got really upset. I was in really big trouble. (laughs) Actually, I was not happy about it. Why? (laughs) Why? Well, we were in a tuberculosis ward, 
It was a whole thing. I brought a wine bra and it spilled. An active tubercle? No, we, you brought a wine. We bra? were on. We were on a tour and we and I and Christine was like, "Oh, they said no alcohol, but she smuggled in a wine bra full of a full bottle so of funny. wine. wine. So it's basically funny. like a like yes. a Camelback, but for yes. your a bottle of wine. Yeah, it's worth for of, sneaking into sports arenas. I, I know what she's talking about. And it exploded or something. <gasps> oh, and so there was just bra. what looked like blood all over a tuberculosis ward oh. and. <laughs> I was just trying to do this little like shimmy and dance to keep the security guard occupied while she tried to clean it up because we would have gotten like kicked out. It was, oh. I was so mad. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm sorry. But then sorry. the floors went. <laughs> Absorbed. Yeah. Well, then there were footprints. Children yeah, it was an offering and... to all the people who were stuck there back yeah. in the day, you know, the yeah. sick folk. Yeah, anytime we've ever like been upset with each other it made for excellent comedy later so yeah. mm -hmm. i really can't as i was watching it happen i went this is going to be so funny in a couple days but yeah. like right, right now, now this is not right good. now we're about to get kicked out of this tour so mm -hmm. miles i know you have a game and it's a great game oh no no, no. i want to hold it i have more okay. questions about it's a great game yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah. so we good and the audience is gonna be so excited when we get there because they it's a fan fave but I, for 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 it's ghosts, not, to be clear, yeah. it's not. It's not. <laughs> As a fan fave, it's a real. I'm thing not even it. sure if we like it. Yeah, I don't even know if I like it. Yeah, but um, it's a segment we've done once. The two things I always think about with 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 ghosties, ghost people like yourself, yeah, is um, are you religious? Do you believe in God? Mm. And, well, I don't even mean that in a big quote. Like, do you believe ghosts in a religious context? And also, what are ghosts mm -hmm. in your thoughts? Well, I I was raised Catholic. I'm a, very much an ex-Catholic. Um, so I'm I'm not. You know, I'm more like, ooh, cool tarot cards. Like, I don't really, I'm not a very religious person at all. Um, uh -huh. but, I realize, um, do you believe in God is an unintentionally very heavy question. <laughs> oh, it's a heavy question the, I'm ready for. I'm more yeah. interested so. in, the go, in the ghost part. <laughs> no, no, we're not the first person to ask that no, question. Yeah, yeah. We literally have a, a show about the afterlife. Yeah, so yeah, people yeah. are always asking us. <laughs> I don't know. That's where I stand. Uh, I don't know what ghosts are. I have, a, I don't know. I feel like they're either leftover energy, you know, one of those kind of things like energy can't be made or destroyed type of things. I don't know, Em, what do you think? I was raised by uh, divorced parents who remarried. So I had a Jewish mother, a Catholic father, a Presbyterian stepdad, and a Wiccan stepmom. <laughs> so, uh, There's a sitcom yeah. right yeah, there. Oh, yeah. Amazing. yeah. So I was basically raised like, None of us know. Like it's <laughs> like just believe whatever you want. So uh, I'm super super open to whatever the truth is, but I don't know what it is. I usually go with my mom's thoughts on what ghosts are, and she calls it her bubble. Um, and it's that people who mattered a lot to each other in this world will remain energy remain as energy here to look out for the other people before they leave. And at once everyone has crossed over, then you're like this little bubble that like floats away and reincarnate and do it all over again. So it's I have no idea if that's true or not. It's just very precious. And so cute. it sounds mm. nice. Am I in your bubble? I am. at. I don't think I can get away from you in any life. So, yeah, I think you're in my bubble. <laughs> I've been going on my own little everyday adventures and I'm not talking, you know, exploring the Adirondacks. I'm just, I mean those little adventures, diving into a new book, finding a new show, going on a walk with my dog, wherever you're exploring. Everlane has the premium essentials to outfit you in comfort. I've got some new shirts, I've got some new sweatpants, and like I'm talking stylish sweatpants. I always felt guilty wearing sweatpants out of the house. Uh, it just like felt like I wasn't allowed to. It almost felt illegal. Not with Everlane, uh-uh. I'm looking professional, but I'm comfy. They have really nice quality basic tees, right? So that's something I could just wear casually around the house or I can dress it up, wear it out to a fancy dinner. It's just a great piece of clothing. If you've got your summer look, well, Everlane has everything you need to upgrade it, my friends. Whether you're going out of town or just having a movie night with the fam, I want you to look good. And their breathable organic cotton trackwear gives an elevated take on a tried and true basic. Go to everlane.com slash tryguys and sign up for 10% off your first order plus free shipping and get easy returns within 30 days of your ship date. That's 10% off your first order when you go to everlane.com slash tryguys and sign up. <laughs> but what, are, what about all those 1600s ghosts? That's what I'm Who saying. Who are they looking after Where's their at bubble? this point? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't know. You know? Uh, and most the most popular ghosts are from centuries the ago. The old ones. Yeah. I I've seen that uh like the there's like a tweet where it's like, why isn't there like a 
2007 ghost that's yeah. screaming it's Britney bitch. And right. like, yes. <laughs> which is fair. Or even a 1990s ghost. Right. Like, you know, just like nostalgia. Like, hey. 1980s ghost being like, where's the right? cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are and no they're idea. just not picking up on it. I don't know. Yeah, I got, wow. I got no clue. What do you think? Wow. I, I, don't, I know this is your show, but do you have any guess? Or do you well, even believe I, in I ghosts? I imagine beyond, amongst us, there's a lot of skepticism, right? Ned, you're, you're, you're out. I mean... Yeah, I, I kind of feel like I was hustled one time by a uh, uh, the Hollywood medium by the Hollywood <laughs> medium. Uh huh. Burst, um, burst into and tears. And now I've just like gone, got you know, settled even deeper into mm-hmm. skepticism. But I like hearing about it. I like stories. We we did I, a like, video with you know, Tyler Henry, the Hollywood medium, and it was like we all were like, "This is bogus." He's so cool, really fun, but like this obviously is fake. And we were all rocked. We were really? like, <laughs> absolutely by the end of it. Yeah, it he was. Oh my God. No, I was. <laughs> Uh, before I was doing this, I was a scientist. So right. that's kind of like grounds a lot of my approach in life of like, show me the data. But <laughs> I, I like hearing about it. And I think I, you know, probably do deep down <laughs> believe in stuff, but I, I always take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. I've always actually wondered this, Ned. Do you mm. wear like a jersey on the day that your sports teams play? Because you think it'll make them win? <laughs> I just think it's when else am I going to wear the jersey? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, it helps. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm like moderately superstitious, though. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah I yeah. get a little weirded out when I see there's this black cat in our neighborhood always walking <laughs> by us. Now I'm, I've started to be like, OK, no, I've I've taken the luck. There it is. <laughs> and that's my luck. You guys, my black cat just walked directly in, into the door and in front of me when you said that. And I like actually wow. got really scared. Oh, so boy. steal his luck like, quickly. I'm, I'm team black cat for life. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's present. Don't worry. He's. He's a good one. I don't know that I believe in ghosts, but I want to. It's just so fun. That's that's yeah, where I'm at. Yeah. Like I'm a, a somewhere between agnostic and atheist, so I don't really know. I'm probably more inclined to believe that when you're gone, you're gone, and there's nothing wrong with that. But obviously, energy, matter cannot be created or destroyed. Like we all flow into something, it it all goes there. I I, I don't know, but I love it. I love this stuff. It's so fun to think about, it. and obviously, it taps deeply into something in all of us whether you say mm-hmm. you believe or not you mm-hmm. can't hear the story of a child that's secretly a demon and not go <laughs> yeah, but that's not even a ghost that's a demon yeah <laughs> that's demon, fair like what the fuck is a demon i don't know that's that's where i'm like no, yeah that's where i think because no, with no. the catholic thing it's like oh my god like my grandmother it's demons like it's a whole religious thing and i don't know i don't have the energy for that but yeah i've heard a demon is like a ghost or a, a ghosts or spirits are people who've passed on but demons like were never human and right. they're just like this dark matter mm-hmm. Ugh, mm-hmm. which i would not know how to tolerate that that sounds like a lot i bet <laughs> the ghosts are just alien pranks <laughs> that could be you're another like, look option. at these people they can't comprehend anything what if we just project little shadows at them and make funny noises i just blew my mind there because <laughs> 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 Aliens are Getting quite reasonable, but they're definitely out there, maybe yeah. here. And if they are here, they could definitely fuck with us so easily. Absolutely. I think yeah. you just shattered my earth. Like, <laughs> 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 You're Whoa. weeping. Here. <laughs> I was like, and what's happening? Em's crying in the corner. I know. You've no. just taken Once away again. the entire podcast. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I mean, when you're a seven dimensional intergalactic being. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You do it. We talk about aliens. Fuck with sometimes. the EMF monitor. I think we started out as it was going to be true crime and ghosts, but then I realized, like, oh, what if I burn through all the material? So I was like, <laughs> we should just make it creepy things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you talk about Bigfoot. We have talked about Bigfoot. Hell yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're going to. Speaking of cryptids, we're going to the Mothman Festival like a week before Christina's due. What was so that? The, the, like Mothman, the cryptid. Do you know about Mothman? No. Um, oh. Not everybody knows I, these I know about things. Mothman we're in a bit. bubble. I, f- I forget. I forget that like it's like not uh, everyone just thinks about weird shit all the time. <laughs> so Lovecraft Mothman story? is like this massive moth creature that in West Virginia. Like, have you seen Mothman Prophecies, the movie? It was like famous in yes. the 2000s. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's like people don't know if it's all about an, moths, so tell me. People don't know if it's an alien or if it's a cryptid, but in Point What's Pleasant. Point Pleasant or Pleasant Point. I always Point, point one Pleasant. One of them is that 70s show, and one of them point is Pleasant. real. West Virginia. Okay, Point Pleasant has, it, it's like this massive moth creature that people swear they saw back in the 70s huh. and 80s, and it became this huge thing. And so like how big are we talking? Like six feet? 
Uh, I think the official number was like 10 feet. Oh, oh, that's big. big. I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. He was like an eight foot mothman creature and some people described him as a man with wings. Some people described him as like moth-like, which is how he kind of got the mothman, although it was more like a bird, I think. Um, and they saw him and then these, dis- it like always, every time he was spotted by people, it like precipitated this disaster. So it was like Christmas day or around Christmas day and this massive bridge collapsed and people had seen like this mothman creature like nearby or above the bridge or something. And so people like started equating them. Like flying? With the, yeah, like people saw him in the woods and fly. I don't know, I don't know the full details. Um, and Sounds so, like an alien prank to me. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> and so people. Shouldn't they just light a big light? <laughs> but I think the kind of. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the, like a really big light? The Won't that just get it? The part was that like the men in black started showing up. So it's like that. Um, idea that like people from the government who were you know investigating like any sort of alien uh sighting or whatever will show up and they kind of act really weird and secret secretive and ask you to you know not share what you saw and so that started happening and there were a ton of um these incidents where people called the police and said i saw this like strange creature you know and then the men in black showed up at their house and said like you may not share this with anybody um so it just turned into this very creepy like lore so and fun. he's so somehow <laughs> he's infiltrated the queer community yeah and so now he's also he's like a, a gay a, icon he's a gay icon <laughs> i really love people, to see it people yep. love my, we actually just did a, a charity a virtual charity auction and it was all about cryptid we want people to send in slam poetry about cryptids and it was, a bunch it was of people wrote niche. in like Mothman erotica about like just being wrapped in his leathery wings. And, and of course, our producer was really like, what? Christine, so you read leathery. this to M. So I got to serenade you with some really, um, uh, really intense. Mothman's hot. Yeah. Like, he's hot. Listen, I'm kind of in love, but don't tell my husband. I don't know how we got on this topic. But, <laughs> oh, we're going to the Mothman. There's a whole festival in the area where people used to see him. So uh, we're going like a week or two before Christine's due date. Gives, and I'm just yeah. really hoping that your water will break at the Mothman Festival. Well, I hope you don't see the Mothman if because that's a <laughs> there's always a, something bad that happens. I, w- I wouldn't oh, go there at all. Wait, wait a minute. That's Maybe the true. festival, though, is a way to like take the take the luck back. We didn't think it through, actually. So. <laughs> we don't <laughs> usually think things through. It's OK. Hmm. We'll bring wait, a big flashlight. Okay. That was a what good is, call. You, yeah. you said <laughs> the idea a of a cryptid. cryptid. I don't know that word. What is a cryptid? Cryptid is the uh, like the word for the category of like Bigfoot, Mothman, uh, oh. Nessie, oh. like Spooky Monster. Monster. Spooky Monster. Spooky Monster, Monster that might be real. <laughs> Are you ready for Spooky I think so. Cookie? I think we're ready I'm for ready. Spooky Cookie. We, we finally have mm-hmm. some uh, Spooky Is Spooky there a theme obviously. song? <clears throat> Can you spooky make a theme song? Spooky or Zach? Cookie. It's Spooky or Cookie. It's Spooky or Cookie. It's Spooky Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Welcome that back. That was to a perfect. <laughs> I'd like to see you sing a theme song. All right, Miles. Spooky or yeah. cookie. Well, Cookies and spooks. That, okay, here we are that again. Was, uh, last time I asked you, is it cookie or is it cookie? Cookie. Do you say, you, it's cookie. <laughs> cookie. Do you say cookie like cookie? Is it a cookie? It, it is a cookie. It's no. either, <laughs> it's no, either right? spooky cookie or spooky and cookie. I was trying to think of the opposite of spooky, and obviously it's cookie. Cookie. cookie it's, it's not sweet. the opposite. No, it's, it's just, just a rhyme. It's a manipulated spooky rhyme. Spooky or cookie. <laughs> Welcome back to Spooky or Cookie, the it's show. Not cookie. <laughs> cookie. The show where we decide it's something spooky <laughs> or a little treat. Cookie. <laughs> so it's a, it is a cookie. Oh, wait, no, so it's, it's a cookie, cookie. No. like to eat it. <laughs> That's the question. I thought you said spooky or kooky. Like, yeah, like it's a, crazy. a little. Eat a like no, 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 no. It's like a kooky. It's a like a kooky. kooky. So first up on spooky way, or kooky. Cool. <laughs> first up on spooky or kooky. Uh, going Mila get- wafers. <laughs> <laughs> that one's open and shut. It's kooky. <laughs> it's kooky. <laughs> um, first up is going to get water in the middle of the night. Spooky or kooky? Ooh. And, and so what is Cookie. It's a little something, treat. Something good. It's a little it's a treat. Little treat. It's a little, little treat. treat. Okay, That's I would. Cookie. I think. Yeah, going to get water in the middle of the night, especially not in your home. Yeah. Oh, spooky. That's, it's spooky. That's, I'm gonna say yeah. spooky. definitely spooky. Spooky. Yeah, That's definitely spooky. spooky. For sure. I, even in my own home, I don't yeah. like doing it. At the no. at the very best, you're not scared, but you're upset because you've woken up. Yeah, it's not yeah. fun. Actually, that's a great point. Yeah, I um, agree. I love my midnight walks to the fridge. <laughs> I get water on middle night all the time, and the cat comes with me. Wait, like, what are you doing up? And I'm like, I'm having some water. All He's the like, way to your fridge? <laughs> yes. 
Damn. Alfred will come over and be like, how's it going? I'm like, good, I'm getting some water. He's like, what are we doing up? I'm like, I don't know, man. I woke up and I'm thirsty, probably because we played soccer all day. And then I'll get back in bed and he'll be like, okay, back we go. You're like, that was, story was pretty kooky. Yeah. It's kooky. Yeah. Yeah. So we're clear. I'm going to say it's definitively spooky and not for the reason you're thinking about. Uh-huh. Not because it's scary to walk around at night, but mm. because improper hydration might be the scariest thing of all. Oh, wow. my God. Wow. wow that Drink is water. A- all right. The darkest you thing we've talked ones? about this whole podcast. <laughs> yeah. Can you reach it? <laughs> water Look at that. Keith and I got our things, and I'm, I'm not drinking enough milliliters yet. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> have some water. <laughs> He's kicking water. Wait, did ah! you bring two water bottles for me and the computer screen? <laughs> 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 yeah, we not, might both be thirsty. Thank you. I'm drinking iced coffee, <laughs> so you. I'm all right for now. Oh, nice. Thanks, so. um, up next on Spooky or Kooky, um, dogs, but you can only hear them. They sound big. How is that a, a nice treat? <laughs> is there a wall in the middle or something? <laughs> Why can you only hear them and not see them? I figured they're around a corner. Right, or like something. they're coming yeah, when you for hear you. a big dog. You can hear it, but it's like, is this dog going to be cute or cuddly and to, big? To be clear, just to, so that we fully have the picture, yeah. is the dog, uh, we're soon to round a corner and see this big dog? Yeah. Or are we never going to encounter the dog? I think that you you think you might. You're at the moment where you're not sure if you're going to encounter the dog or not. It's yeah. a will they or won't they situation. I, Very nice. This is a, honestly, I like this because this is a good differentiation <laughs> differentiation between spooky and scary. Yeah. Yeah, good because point. Because if I were to see a dog, I, it's very unlikely it will spook me, <laughs> but it might scare me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be like, yeah. that dog shouldn't be there. He's up to something. <laughs> I'm going to be like, ah, big dog, scary. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then again, Eugene would definitely see it as a, a, a little cookie. treat. Oh, little, yeah. Any size dog, he's like, oh, this is a good thing. This yeah. is a little treat. I mm-hmm. would say it was spooky if the voice itself was really high pitched and then you walked around the corner and it was like this massive burly dog. Woof, woof, woof. Yeah. I'd be like. Well, that's <laughs> yes. well, and I correct me if I'm wrong as, as the experts here. Oftentimes, when you hear a dog's voice, it's actually a demon, uh, right? Disguising mm-hmm. itself. Masking. Mm-hmm. And see if yeah, where's the if dog we're hearing? Goes it depends in. on the location of where you're hearing the bark. Because if you're hearing it like in your bedroom and you mm-hmm. hear the bark from like your closet and yeah, you don't have a dog, <laughs> that dog's that's been pretty dead fucking for spooky. forty years. <laughs> yeah, that would be spooky. Yeah. Yeah. Ghostbuster shit. Yeah. 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 If you're hearing it when you walk by the house that you know has a big dog, but you just haven't rounded the corner yet, mm-hmm. it'd be pretty normal. Yeah. 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 Is there a third pretty option normal. that's just mild irritation? <laughs> yeah. Spooky, kooky, or mm, looky. <laughs> Looky, looky, looky. 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 I'm gonna give it. A, looky. I'm gonna give it a looky, yeah, but I'm gonna keep looky. on moving on. It's just a looky. <laughs> it's just a looky. You know, it's funny. Of all the things I've been missing over the past year, it's the little things I miss the most, like making awkward eye contact across the room or meeting strangers in line. That's what I'm trying to get back to. Vaccination is the most effective way to help prevent COVID-19 and get back to the good times. Find out where to get your COVID-19 vaccine near you at vaccines.gov. That's V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S dot gov. Have you ever looked at someone successful and thought, what makes them tick? Friends and multi-hyphenists Esty Heim and Darren Chris are getting to the bottom of it on their brand new podcast, That Thing I Do. You probably know Esty from her band Heim, but she's obsessed with theater and acting. Darren has starred on shows like American Crime Story, The Assassination of Johnny Versace, and Glee, but has spent most of his life as a musician. On That Thing I Do, the two of them sit down with special guests for conversations about things they don't otherwise get a chance to talk about. Quirky hobbies, idiosyncrasies, and the unknown passions that they obsess over. Like Maya Rudolph's Prince tribute band, Princess. I didn't know she did that. There's a lot that people do, but only so much time to talk about it. So, Esty and Darren made their own space and time. Join them every Wednesday on That Thing I Do, a presentation of Cadence 13 Studios. Listen and follow on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Odyssey, or wherever you get your shows. That Thing I Do. Um, Okay, up next here, someone whispering the word cortado. Oh my god. Hmm. Again, is it in your closet I when you're this one's down? at night? This one's at night. This one's it's nighttime and you're alone that's and you it. hear someone whisper the word cortado. Oh, well, that's totally different. Whispering anything would be spooky, but especially if it's something that sounds a disembodied whisper. Well, maybe yeah. you're like you're in a place where there's probably people, but you don't see anyone. You keep saying why you keep can't making see. it creepy. <laughs> 
I was. I like how the only like in- factor in all of these is like, but your eyes are closed. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go full on cookie. Yeah, here. that's what I'm Cortados saying. Cortados are Cortado. delicious, yeah. and you, if you're having one in the evening, it means you're gonna stay up late. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be like an offer. Corta- yeah, Cortado. I think that's yeah. a little steamy. That's like, <laughs> it's kind of like yeah. the romance. Mm-hmm. If if we're talking like post party at two in the morning, it does yeah. feel kind of kooky. Yeah. Somebody yeah. wants to stay up late with me. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Mm-hmm. Also, that like that's like the perfect hour for like when you really get to bond and like the gossip starts pouring yeah. out. It's mm-hmm. about to get real kooky. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, kooky. It's about yeah. to get real kooky. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, <clears throat> up next on Spooky or Kooky. Mm-hmm. Motel vending machine. Mm. Oh, I mean, they literally boy. dispense kiyokis. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> but I figure like it's nighttime. You're sort of at a motel. And yeah, it's I'm like, going to get see anybody. Dimly lit. <laughs> Your <laughs> eyes are closed. You're going <laughs> to press a button at random. You don't There's know what's going to come out. There's a dog I think barking. I'm scared of the dark. <laughs> 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 I do think yeah. just shitty old motels like yeah. at night being alone in the halls is a little bit. It's spooky. murder. That's right. so murder central. The the packages might yeah. not be great. That's like a really old thing. Of There's like just like bits. juicy mm-hmm. fruit gum in there. And yeah, no, I don't like it. Uh-huh. I'm not in And there. it's like gum in a vending machine. Like things that yeah, like are why? very old, like Fruitopia or something. Yeah. You're <laughs> like, wait, have they not replaced this since the 90s? <laughs> yeah, there's old stuff in there, but then there's something really new. There's it's like still a take dispensing five as well. surge soda. <laughs> that is spooky. Yeah. They feel like two, from two different worlds. <laughs> yeah, two uh-huh. different yeah. Worlds. yeah. That's spooky. Yeah. And again, I mean, probably pretty good deal. Yeah. At the motel. If they're doing like 50 cent rates like they like were back in the cents. day with Fruitopia. Yeah, they didn't change the prices. But you get a take five bar for 50 cents. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's good a spooky deal. good deal. Good deal. Yeah. I'm wondering a lo- if I'm alone here. Are there any foods that you can think of? I've got one that you think is actually low key a little better when it's a bit stale. Mm. Huh. Wow. I know stale, there's... stale Oreos. Stale Oreos. Yeah. I don't like a stale Oreo. When they're soft? Yeah. Too yeah, mushy. I don't like when staling does the opposite. When something's <laughs> supposed to be hard and it's stale yeah. version is soft. soft. That is the worst. That's I the love worst. it. I love a good what? soft Oreo, man. Fuck Ew. me up. That's a kooky. <laughs> <laughs> that is a literal kooky. <laughs> I would say there's some things that you can like repurpose in a cool like, you know, fruits that are getting a little old, like you can just like mix them up into something. And yeah. Or just eat it in I love it. Yeah. I'm on the same page. <laughs> Me and that are but together. that's repurposing something. So it's a yeah. new version of yeah. an old thing. Yeah. Right. Mm. I don't know so, if that counts. You're right. Stale things are bad. Yeah. No. I don't yeah. know if eat I can fresh. think of a stale food <laughs> that I enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Rainy mm. chiming in from the shadows. There we go. Marshmallows. marshmallows. <laughs> you know what I'll also say, though? Uh, like when you make rice, if you're about to make fried rice, you kind of want it to be yeah. like a little fridged up. <laughs> yeah. You that's I mean? true. But again, you're making something new. You're also you're making banana that's a bread. Point. You're rolling the dice. So rice, what you guys are all saying is that Oreos are in a league of their own. That's yeah. so yeah. I think Real you're quick. in a league of that's your own, my friend. Say. <laughs> it's a surface area. I know. They say that rice goes bad. They say a lot of food goes bad. And I'm like, pizza apparently within like an hour and a half has what? bacteria on, on the it. counter. Don't not tell me that. Food. I'm full of bacteria. But yeah, like even a yeah. day yeah. later, like you should not. Oh, yeah. Fry, <laughs> it's like fried rice or sorry, any rice and pizza <laughs> bacteria immediately. That said, Stop. I still eat leftover fried rice all the time. I Wait, guess that makes sure. sense because they're kind of steamy. So water molecules are on them. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm scientist. not a scientist. I just I'm <laughs> trying to make shit. sense of a bad thing. So now is bacteria food ghost? Okay, mm. now we're talking. <laughs> food ghost. I didn't come here to have my world <laughs> crash <laughs> like this so many times. What if what if uh ghosts are just matter bacteria? Mm. Oh shit. I can't deny it. Yeah. There's definitely uh you're that's that's pretty kooky. Do so ghosts bacteria take bacteria just kind of eating away my soul after I die? <gasps> Do ghosts take shits? Hmm. No. In Casper, they eat food, so I guess that would mean they have to digest it, right? Mm. Do, Spook- Do spooky ghosts- or dookie? Yeah. <laughs> spooky or dookie, a big steaming pile of shit. <laughs> okay, up next, we got two more. Um, well, we actually have a lot more, but I'm just going to do two more. Uh, this uh, <clears throat> mm, Waking up to the sound of a seltzer popping. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that kooky. Like, that's kooky. That yeah. is a but joy. But who is it? A delight. Well, that's that's my question. <laughs> right. That's why okay. it's maybe Someone who's bringing me a bubbly treat. <laughs> that's the way I want to wake up every morning. That's God kind damn. of like the, the 2 a.m. Cortado. Yeah, it's, it's a Cortado situation. It's, you're waking <laughs> yeah. up and you're rallying. Yeah. That's kooky. I'm going to say, uh, you know, 
I'm a parent of two young children. Yeah, right. Sleep is precious to yeah, me. That's You're telling right. me some motherfuckers out here snapping <laughs> sodas and wake. If that's the thing that's waking me up, I'm like, you just robbed me of five mm. minutes of sleep. But what if it's very specifically Father's Day and your kids bring you the seltzer and say, shh, go back to bed. Yeah, after this. that would be great. Or if it's like, I know I'm on vacation and it's like, I've slept in until nine and, you know, my lover's just like, shh. Like getting crazy. That's kooky. That's kooky. That's, that's kooky. I'm that's picturing kooky. like a Wallace and Gromit esque alarm clock where every morning, <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> it opens a seltzer, and that's how it then it like opens my mouth and glug, 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 glug. That's how I wake up in the morning. It sounds <laughs> awesome. It sounds horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Gulping when you wake up. It becomes spooky very quickly yeah. <laughs> if it malfunctions. Mm. Um, all right. Here's the last one uh, The silhouette of a really tall ballerina. Bad, oh, well, obviously bad, bad, that's bad. spooky. <laughs> that's spooky. That's terrifying. Uh, Keith, I'm pretty sure you know a ballerino who is really tall and super hot and you have a crush on. Yeah, but his silhouette would still be spooky. You wouldn't be like, silhouette. That's a hot silhouette. Yeah, that's I, a different. You I, can be attracted <laughs> to demons, I guess, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I was imagining that I was backstage at a, like, a ballet show and I was like, in context, yeah. that's hot. I imagine I was camping and their yeah, silhouette was right, outside my tent. Yeah, yeah. I'm, that's still, creepy. I'm still in my that's like creepy. bedroom closet. It. Like I'm that's always in the bedroom really seeing it yeah. Yeah, in the corner. It's not good. Miles, how do I know that it's a ballerina? Uh, the tutu. The, the tutu. tutu. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. You're pretty it's, sure. I mean, yeah. quintessential music box ballerina silhouette. Is what yeah. We're and about like here. pointed. Yeah. Pointed toes. Speaking of uh, going. Uh, Every so often I try to make <laughs> eye contact with the monitor and be like, oh, there's no. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> You can't I feel tell it. I'm looking at you. I feel it. I'm just like, worry. right? And like, <laughs> well, full callback. Speaking of ballerinas, one of the uh, pieces of equipment that we have is just like how we have the bear for children. We have a Victorian music box. Oh, for God. Oh, old no. Victorian oh, spirits my. that if you it's it's motion activated, but it will start playing like old Victorian music. To Terrible. let you know that someone walked through its path. Oh. Gotta be so creepy. I like it to think is. that maybe it's that very tall ballerina. I actually think it should be nobody because that's terrifying. If it had to be somebody, the ballerina. You're just do. trying to put yourself in a horror movie by putting like <laughs> like cute la giggles. I definitely and <laughs> funded a horror project for yeah. myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is the single most terrifying encounter that you both had where you're like, oh, this was this was wrong. This was a mistake. This was too far. I don't know. We rented out an apartment for our studio before COVID, before I realized I was moving and now it just houses all our haunted goods. Um, and I decided <laughs> I want to play Ouija board. Um, so M, oh, but boy. M had already gotten rid of my Ouija board. Uh, so, cause M doesn't like when I play Ouija board. So I made my I'm own anti Ouija board, <laughs> even though it's made by a toy company. I, I feel like it's the energy you put into it. I, I know it's very yeah. like granola, but like I'm it's, I really feel like if you're, <laughs> asking for that stuff to come well, through. Well, true, because I made a bootleg one and it was even scarier than like the Hasbro one. She used <laughs> she used one of our posters and then drew an alphabet on the back and then used like an <laughs> oh empty glass. A wine glass. And it the still worked. Glass. It mm. worked. And then M went home and I had to sleep there for the night because I was staying in LA. Oh, fuck. And I was like, this, nothing good is coming out of this. Um, what was the message? There was some really creepy shit that happened that night too. There was like, Cortado. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember M saw like a nail flew out of the wall or I don't know. There was oh, a lot of weird yeah. shit that happened at that place. That was when I, that's when I was there by myself. I was, uh, I was hanging up one of our posters or something. And, uh, while I was lying on the couch, I heard, I saw something kind of like shoot, shoot by my eyes and I heard something clatter on the other side of the room. And I, it was a nail. I had just nailed into the wall, but it had flown off the wall across the entire room and it was really creepy. Whoa. That is creepy. That's that is creepy. Spooky. The fact that it had to get pulled out and then didn't just right. drop it like <laughs> right. frick, flew. You know. That's yeah. wild. Mm. That was odd. I think the the scariest thing to me was actually when I worked uh in college at the at the ghost tour place and I um actually ended up getting scratched on my hand. Ooh. Uh -huh. um, Whoa. It was a pretty wild scratch. It was pretty insane. I sometimes in the light, I feel like I can still see a scar, but I feel like I'm maybe just making that up. <laughs> but I remember getting like three scratches on my hand. And <gasps> they were there for a long time. Like uh, what? What? How? What, how? I was just standing up there by. My, I was up in haunted Did you go, attics. Ow! And then looked down, and you saw you were scratched. <laughs> it felt like something was burning, and then I looked down, and over time, it just kind of turned Here. into massive welts. 
Wow. Um, well, shout out to our, our old friend Aurora, who Keith and I stayed with when we went to go see the, mm-hmm. the eclipse. But she had like crazy scratches on her back, too, from a from a purported ghost. Oh, you ghost. think there's maybe a ghost in Ronald right now? Our office puppet. Christine, if you could see this thing, it's wild. what like, there's yes. literally a. I can't see a puppet it, without a, a spine. It just blinked. <laughs> <laughs> there's a puppet without a hand. It's just kind of collapsed in the side. <laughs> just draped over a bunch of cables. <laughs> yeah. Do you think like ghosts are they um, the form of like how you are when you died, or do you get to choose your age? I've heard that it's your be- your like p- prime that you like reappear in your prime or like your happiest time mm. is what I've heard. <laughs> Yeah, I I feel like it's like whenever you were happiest or whenever some monumental thing happened to you or like mm-hmm. healthiest in a past life or I don't know that would be like eleven for me or something. <laughs> a age. child ghost. But, so great. what you're saying is ghosts are hot. <laughs> you think I'm skinny? All no. ghosts are hot. It feels so good to have a fresh start. Return to your baseline. Declutter that inbox. Clean up your place. Start a new and you know what your hair might be overdue for the same treatment that's why it's time for the clarifying detox shampoo from way look my hair needed some love i think that's not a secret y'all know that i've been on a little bit of a hair journey and uh yeah i i needed to start over uh detox shampoo Gave my hair a reset. Uh, now, I don't actually know much about hair, but I trust my friends that do. And whoo, I want you to reset your hair and scalp with the clarifying detox shampoo from Way. Okay, use Way once a week to neutralize product buildup, oil, dirt, and hard water from your scalp without stripping away moisture. Way was created by celebrity hairstylist Jen Atkin to create the first socially connected hair care brand. When you're ready to undo some damage, hit the reset button with the Way detox shampoo. Go to T H E O uai.com and use code TRYGUYS to get 15% off your entire purchase. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com, code TRYGUYS. All right, last question, though, related to that is, have you ever seen an apparition? I have. And not just like, oh, a spooky door thing, oh, a nail thing, but seen a thing or person? Yeah, we both have. And what was that like? <laughs> What was your what was yours, Christine? Okay, well, I was out. Mine's short, but I was at the Whaley House in San Diego with M's girlfriend, actually, um, and we were doing like some ghost tour. And I we had just started the podcast, so I was like, I was like interested in that stuff, but I I didn't like fully I hadn't like experienced anything. And we were walking through the Whaley House, which is like this old haunted house in San Diego, and they do <clears throat> they do tours. And um, I saw some man walking up upstairs with this like big hat on. Um, and he was like dressed in like period clothes. And I was like, oh, cool. They do like reenactments. Um, and so I asked the tour guide like, oh, is there like a show going on upstairs? And he was like, no, um, it's actually closed off up there right now. And I was like, no, no, the guy walking around in the hat. He was like, I remember his face. He was like, there's no, sorry, there's no, nobody, there's nobody up there. And I was like, okay. Oh, you know, I was like, that's wow. ha ha. So I was like, he walked into that room right there and he's like, I just want you to walk up there and see what's up there. So I walked up and the room he had walked into was like plexiglassed off because it was like the guy's office or something from like the 1800s and they had oh, completely no. walled it off. And I was like, oh no, the guy walked into this room and he's like, there's literally a giant wall of glass right there. Nobody can walk through there. And he let me wander around the wow. whole upstairs. And I was like, <clears throat> wow, yep, sir, there's no, there's not one single person up here. Um, and I still feel kind of crazy. Like, I, I still feel very weird about that because it's like, I don't know how to reconcile that. I don't know, rationally, yeah. but um, it was wow. bizarre. It was uh, very bizarre. But did he look arguably his hottest? He could have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, his hat was swanky, if nothing else. Uh, that hat made him feel good. That hat was uh, something else. For me, I when I was seven, I saw my grandfather after he passed. And I, it was interesting because all of my family members saw him in a different way or had a, a different experience. So one person got like an actual photo of him and a random picture and he showed up in it. Um, mm. Someone, he... He came to them in a dream. Everyone got a different experience, but mine was arguably the coolest. And <laughs> uh, I was I was lying in my bed, and from my bed you could see down the hallway. And I remember waking up to someone walking in the hallway, and I looked over, and there was this just massive shadow of a, a man, just a solid black shadow of a man walking towards me. And I think I must have just been so tired, or I 
didn't, maybe I thought I was still dreaming. So I fell back asleep and I woke up to another sound. And this time the same shadow was now leaning on the door frame, <gasps> looking at me. And the same thing happened where I was kind of tired. I don't know if I was actually sleepy or if it was maybe some sort of daze. I've heard that when they come to children to make you feel safer, they kind of put this like wave of calm mm -hmm. over you. So you're not scared. So I don't know if I was like in a trance and fell asleep, but I then woke up maybe a couple minutes later and felt someone sitting on the bed and I woke up and he was sitting there like leaning on his leg and looking at me and smiling. And it was 100% my grandpa. And wow. I, what the thing that's weird to me too, is I was so young. I didn't understand the concept of death. So it wasn't like I had made something up. I just genuinely thought, genuinely thought he was visiting. And I told my mom about it the next day of like, Oh, where's grandpa? He came to say good night last night. And she was like, no, he didn't. He's not there. <laughs> So, uh, wow. we, so I ended up seeing him that night. And then later in when I was like 13 or 14 at my dad's house, there was something really creepy that would always show up in the middle of the night. Um, one time I actually saw it in the hall and it was just this massive floating black cloud that was oh, just kind of like its goodness. own being oh. like lost. Yeah. Just like lost. I didn't sleep that night, but I, I, so I definitely saw that. And I remember standing there thinking, People are going to wonder if you're crazy. You have to remember that this was a legitimate thing. So <laughs> anyway, there was oh. one very sweet thing and one very evil thing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last wow. question. Mm -hmm. Do animals have ghosts? Yes. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Because I think I hope they have do. souls. Yeah. I've heard plenty yeah. of stories of people yeah. who've, whose pets have passed and then they can still hear them run through the hallway or... Right. odd things will like appear there's a lot of hotels that have haunted cats or yes like go ghost cats mm. where you can feel something kind of like jump up on the bed and like curl up next to your foot or you can hear purring or like the people will wake up and see little like paw print imprints on the bed and uh, at first guests will think like if they're sleeping they're like oh i didn't i didn't realize i was actually in a hotel because i thought it was my cat jumping up next to me and then they oh. realize they were in a hotel and there shouldn't have been a cat near them mm -hmm. do you guys know about how cats like will know when people are about to die. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. crazy. And mm -hmm. dogs too. Are blind. If you see a dog when you're, a lot of people when they're in hospice will say they see a dog and it's like an escort. Wow. What do the wow. cats do crazy. to 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 hell you? They they know you're gonna die. I think they like lay with the people that are about to <laughs> die. They just like they know. They can like sense that your soul is leaving the body. I guess they want to steal it. <laughs> yeah, they want to eat. That's how they get those. They don't get nine lives. They're not born with nine lives. They can <laughs> steal up to nine lives. You're really coming yeah. up with a, so many theories in this conversation that are making me rethink everything. <laughs> <laughs> They're like another one for me. <laughs> oh my god. Well, yeah. Uh, I, this has been wildly uh, interesting and so informative <laughs> and, and cool to hear uh, both of your experiences. And it's time for us to repay the favor. You know, you would love to hear about the, maybe this us try boys experiences, but actually we have someone nope. who's even better, who gives amazing advice yeah. uh -huh. and we'd love to tr pass the mic to the man who has his own mic, Miles Montignore for advice that will go for miles. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune into your radio station. This is when you realize it's your headphones are broken, right? Miles. Sounds like you're underwater. <laughs> it's kind of like helping with the vibe, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Again, I don't always, yeah, doing it in front of guests is always kind of odd. No, I'm just mad, Christine. I'm four years. I've never gotten the theme song. Okay. What's up, Miles Nation? How's everyone doing tonight? Woo. So good. <laughs> yeah. Normally yeah. he goes, "What the fuck is up?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put a little less sauce. It's on a it different. Today. It's different every week. Yeah. Now, have you ever wanted to wake up with the? Power of a Thousand Suns. Surely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to seize the day so hard that you're gripping it with your teeth? Oh, mm. I. who's to say at this point? <laughs> I'm going to go with yes, because I wanted to see where this adventure is taking eat, us. Eat an orange? Ice? <gasps> Forget that thing and melt it up. <laughs> and give yourself a little water a la carte. Huh? D water by itself? <laughs> is that what you mean to say? Sleep is linked to health. Apparently. <laughs> we all know that. And water is also linked to being a badass. <laughs> Where are we going? You just, gotta, you just gotta hold on. Hold on for dear life. 
and have your water in the morning a la carte <laughs> table side. You just what, what is a la carte <laughs> table side? You doing a Wallace and Gromit sparkling have you heard water? Of sitch? Water? Have you? <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> have you heard of guacamole made at the table? I sure have. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Keith, yes. What? <laughs> oh, are you just telling people to have water <laughs> just just by itself like you don't need to have anything else just a I glass like of water I I like like heart. Heart. Means, I like there's something means. so simple about a glass of water em? you know I feel like you're the under the bridge <laughs> troll that we were talking about earlier with all the riddles yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pudge wumple my advice to you is to before you go to Betty bye take a gallon <laughs> Oh, God. Before you go to bed, you're going to pee, pee, pee all night. All night. You're going to pee all no, night. No, no. I hope whatever you're about to say is not drink it. That is not kooky. <laughs> well, first of all, actually, this is a sub advice piece. Uh, keep a gallon of water in your car. But the real advice, back to the main That's show. That's actually good advice. advice. That's, well, but let's not use that. Let's, let's not let's, use that. Let's go back to the car car advice. Nonsense. Forget it. Take a glass jar of water and put it beside your bed. But I I, uh, uh, what, I want you uh, to drink some water and then I want you to fill it to the brim tippy top. If you even touch it, it's gonna spill. Surface tension. Oh gosh. And then put it, surface tension, put it on your bedside table and knock yourself out. Oh. Fully go to sleep, <laughs> punch, yourself. punch yourself in the head. <laughs> I'm hit the you, headboard a little too hard. Hit yeah. the headboard hard. You're gonna be sleeping for a while. When you wake up, First thing you do, eyes open, <laughs> grab the water, stand up, and chug like it's college. Glug, glug, oh. glug. Chug water first thing in the A and the M, a la carte. What's that? Because so, it's going to, it's water. What's a la carte? Well, hmm? What's the a la carte part of it? <laughs> Ned's never been to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, let me explain. It is making restaurant. me feel like there's more like a like a $4 sign aspect to this. Yeah, well, premium is as premium does but i want time is money until it's, saving you're saving time. until it's tap water <laughs> don't drink it with other things drink it just by itself yeah first thing in the morning i like heart i think that's it's, it's a little okay <laughs> now I that i understand it's, it yeah it's, i think it's pretty good advice mm -hmm. tom brady does it Ugh. here's my thing <laughs> <laughs> Don't you uck Tom Brady. Yes. Don't you uck Tom Brady. He's the goat man. Well, here's what you're he moved to do. Tampa Bay and became a Florida man. Now I respect him. <laughs> if you, It's going to help you wake up to sort of go and then chug it really hard. And it's going to kind of like warm up your insides to get going for the day. So what I'll do is I'll wake up and I will chug water and it mm -hmm. sort of fuels me up. And gets me ready to okay. go. So you don't want to start your day dehydrated. That's right. There you is. may not be sneaking around in the middle of the night having sips of water. Mm -hmm. you might it just... Also, you avoid the whole spooky or kooky situation yeah. of having to do it in the middle yeah. of the night right. with your cat. But what mm -hmm. if you're thirsty before the morning? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. How could you be? You just drink a gallon. <laughs> yeah, you drink a gallon before bed. <laughs> That's true. In that scenario, I definitely am only pissing constantly. <laughs> you have to be careful with how much water you drink before bed. Because I did hear, because I remember I was really obsessed with being dehydrated for a while. Uh, and I people, loved being dehydrated for a while. <laughs> I was so obsessed sad. with it. Well, was people so kept sad. telling me like you're dehydrated when you go to sleep. So you drink water before you go to sleep and wake up in the morning, you drink water. And so I would drink a lot of water before I go to bed and I wake up at like 3 a.m. and pee every time. Yeah. yeah. So the actual apparently the correct way to be hydrated all day long is basically, yes, to have a lot of water in the morning, have a lot of water in the afternoon and don't have a ton of water at night. Because uh -huh. if you're properly hydrated through the day, mm. you should not actually be that thirsty <clears throat> at night, which means you can sleep all night, not get up to pee, and then uh -huh. have more water in the morning. What about there are all those bottles that, that like like it's like all your water for the yeah. day and it like has it oh, yeah. by like 11 a.m. Yeah. Drink this much. 12, but I don't know. Are you actually supposed to evenly space out your water intake? Or are you supposed question. to chug a roux? Like yeah, because they even saying. have those bottles with the time slots on saying. them. Yeah. So yeah. is it a lie? I think it doesn't really matter, but yeah, you should evenly space it out. So I think that you're hydrated all yeah. day rather than like, I'm going to be de dehydrated for 10 hours and then just <laughs> chug way too much in the middle of the night. Right. Yeah. This is a thousand milliliters right here. You're supposed to drink two to three of these a day. Yeah, I did a easy. fitness challenge. And the, one of the biggest things was all about just drinking, drinking water, drinking water really? all day. Oh, it's, yeah. Because water is like when you pee, that's how like, you know, fat gets out of your body. Pee and really? Yeah. Peeing, if I just pee a lot, will I be shredded? 
Yeah, bro. It'll that's, help. I, I feel know. like there's at least like a 1% chance <laughs> yeah, higher. Like, I mean, chance. that feels like, <laughs> like I've seen those challenges of like work out like a superhero. I want to just drink some always fucking about water. Drinking water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been drinking like four gallons a day. <laughs> I was properly <laughs> hydrated for 30 days and these are my results. It's possible. Yeah. Actually, it's, yeah. it's almost noon and I've only had two 50 milliliters today. That's bad. Chug. I'm behind. Though I have had two cups of tea and a whole smoothie, so I'm, I do think the bottles that have the timestamps are a little much. I feel yeah. like they're huge. They're big. They're so big. Nick has but one. I don't like going to the <laughs> fridge, man. When I'm at the at my desk, I need to be hydrated. A little thing like I'm going back up to the fridge, up and down. Miles, are you okay? Do you drink too fast? <laughs> oh, so you're too hydrated. See, it, he, I well, he took a big everywhere. chug. <laughs> Woo! I feel like I, my. My roommate, I he's very athletic, and he's one of those people who carries around like a gallon jug of water mm. all day. And I'm like, who do you think you are? Like the, the fridge is right there. We're yeah. in quarantine. Like <laughs> we're you're just drinking all it's this okay. like kind of warm water. Blech. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's hot out I right now. I hope you loved that. Blech. I like doing it because I'm lazy, and I get I'm like so I like. If I have an empty cup on my desk, I'm like, oh, I should get water, but I don't feel like getting up. That's yeah. my struggle every like, time. Mm, wow. I always have the container available, That's but I don't small. want to do the action. <laughs> it is little. Although this bad boy. I will say like Pulitzer Prize winning the amount of words you found snow. to be able to say drink water. <laughs> every week I do it. It's <laughs> pretty amazing. Also very on brand for, and that's why we drink. <gasps> oh, and that's why we drink water. That's stay right. hydrated. Guys, I just drank 500 milliliters Holy in that shit. second. If I can do it, then dang it. So can you. For the next 10 seconds, we'll just pause <sighs> while you chug water. So go, 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 go find your water. Hydrate. Yeah. You you're water. thirsty. If you're Everyone in the car, is frantically okay. trying to go fill their cup because right. no one had water. Maybe you're filling it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're filling it in the fridge. there for two minutes. <laughs> okay. I hope it's not the middle of the night because that might be a spoon. Let's yeah. all drink water. Ready? <gasps> you can survive on water for like two months. No. Nope. <laughs> 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 isn't, isn't that true? Mm-mm. About like a week, one two month. months. Right. I it, it, like, it, it depends on food you can do. That's like three weeks. I think. No, if you don't eat food, you can survive on just water for like Miles, two months. Please meet not your two months. No, <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. If you don't <laughs> eat, you. I think you it's three weeks. Well, it's yeah. not three even weeks. that long. That's so long. Pretty sure it's three weeks. Like you can, if you don't have food, you can last for longer than if you didn't have water. Correct. Yes, that's I mean, true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that doesn't mean you can months. just go as long as you make up. <laughs> Wasn't yeah, there I'm that rule? About three weeks of food right here, baby. Wasn't there that rule that we all knew on, like at recess where it was yeah. like the three month, three week, three day rule? Where, like, yeah, one was that's right. Water, one was food, one was sleep or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I Maybe can't it's... live without sleep for three hours. I get it. So, yeah. like, uh, every three hours I have to take According a <laughs> to Google, how long can you survive on water alone? Up to two months if there's access <gasps> to wa adequate water intake. <gasps> I was right. But I would not recommend it. Surviving, it also says though, right before yeah. that, typically eight to 21 days. Yeah. Oh, that's without food and water. Oh, okay. So yeah. All right. So you're I was right. right. I'm a smart. I mean, I know that there are things called water fasts where you're only drinking water. Ooh, that for, sounds terrible. I, I mentioned this on the podcast, right? And it's like, yeah. apparently this crazy uh, thing that's, that people do for, for chronic pain. You should like, always Oof. drink water when you fast. Have you seen those, <laughs> no, those only like water edible water? Yeah, like, no, that sounds so edible so water, ice? water pods. Well, like, ice? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> they have. <laughs> it's ice. Yes. It's like it's a like, soup dumpling. It's like you like suck the water out of this like cellulose based. What? It, it looks Drop to me how, how, how <laughs> ants in yes. the movie A Bug's Life oh my God. had water. Yes, that's a perfect I mean, that's way us just all getting us our getting our Tide Pod kick, which sounds great. <laughs> it's very much like a Tide Pod, but like the 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 casing is like some sort of like sugar. Like gelatinous? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, it's, well, I, once you bite into it, the whole thing kind of explodes I, like a water balloon. It's made of gelatin, yes. Mm. It's some sort of gelatin structure, and it's a little ball of water, and you suck it in the water, and then it gets smaller, and then I it's guess... It's just like a new way to take in water, what? I guess, but if you're fasting, if you're trying to just go with creativity, at least you have an option. I Can would you suck eat the down gelatin? a water ball. <laughs> or is it hard? What's that? <laughs> I... I said I would suck down a water ball. <laughs> oh, good. Mm. I just wanted to hear it twice. <laughs> Slurp on yeah, down. Interesting. Daddy. Toss me some water balls. <laughs> we suck them down. <laughs> well, we're going to keep talking about water balls on the Afterpod. Join our community at patreon.com slash tryguys and you get access to one extra episode every week. Become a Triceratops. We're going to keep talking 
spooky stuff with Em and Christine. Guys, and thanks so much. Water for, pods. Probably, probably water pods. Probably water pods. Thanks so <laughs> Thank much you. for joining us today. Oh my gosh, it's thank you so much. Fun. It's an honor. Uh, where Thank can you. yeah, where can people check you guys out? Our handle for everything is ATWWD Podcast. You can also find pretty much everything on our website, and that's why drink.com. Um, I don't know when this is coming out, but very soon um, tour dates are going to be released Woo-hoo. for Woo-hoo. finally completing the 2020 tour Woo-hoo. that we that COVID took away. So <laughs> Uh, you can see us live there. Oh my God. You should put the bear on the <laughs> stage and say, are you enjoying the show? And then the bear goes, yay. That, that tickles. Tickles. Just, just leave it actually like an, on an empty seat in the audience and let it giggle every now and oh, then. So at least horrifying. one person is laughing. Wow. So. At least one wow, person wow, wow. is amused. Yeah. Keith is with the official spooky theme song. <laughs> Oh, you better watch your back. Oh, you can't see the things, but you can hear them all around you. You better watch your back. Yeah, you don't want to get eaten up by a ghost or perhaps ghosts are just projections (laughs) from aliens. It's not clear. And that's why we investigate. It was so fun having guests today. Thanks for listening to the tripod. Until next time, stay beautiful.